In this video, we first demonstrate the convergence of progressive rendering methods. We begin with the torus scene, where we guide unidirectional path tracing with our method and the Gaussian mixture models by Vorba and colleagues. We also show standard path tracing with next event estimation and stochastic progressive photon mapping. Our method has to learn the incident radiance field on the fly during rendering, whereas we pre-train the Gaussian mixture model for five minutes off screen. Note the extremely noisy initial image of our method. We will now show the 10 times sped up equal time rendering procedure. Our method rapidly learns the incident radiance field and overtakes the other methods. Note how photon mapping only captures coarse, blurred versions of the caustics on the torus and the floor. We will now show the same comparison on the pool scene. We replaced photon mapping with manifold exploration metropolis light transport. As in the torus scene, the other methods initially converge faster than ours, but our method quickly learns a good guiding distribution and catches up. Manifold exploration does not exhibit the fireflies present in the other methods. However, its uneven, unpredictable convergence is ill-suited for rendering animations because it introduces flickering. The kitchen scene exhibits similar behavior. In this glossy scene, manifold exploration quickly converges to a smooth solution. Note, however, that its unpredictable convergence remains an issue. For instance, unlike the path guiding techniques, it does not estimate the brightness of the caustic viewed through the mirror correctly. Next, we compare the robustness of our directional quad trees with the Gaussian mixture models. To this end, we trained our quad trees and Gaussian mixture models for five minutes each in the exact same spatial regions. Additionally, we trained Jensen's histograms for three hours to obtain a low resolution reference solution. The cursor is continually selecting distributions, which are visualized on the right. On the ground, both the Gaussian mixture models and our quad trees capture the sun's illumination reliably. However, on the torus, the Gaussian mixture models are unstable and often do not capture all modes of the incident radiance well. Our quad trees, on the other hand, reliably capture the narrow, high energy peaks with a high resolution. Lastly, we visualize the positions of the leaf nodes on our spatial binary tree from the pool scene. We zoom into the quad trees to demonstrate their adaptation to high frequency illumination on the floor of the pool. Thank you for watching.